Launch is only seconds away. The flight control director is ready to take over. Radar and telemetry equipment is ready. This is another test in the pyramid of testing. Flight test, another step toward man in space. After a perfect launch, MR-1 followed a normal flight test profile. The spacecraft, weighing about one ton, follows a ballistic arc, peaking at approximately 130 mile altitude and landing 235 statute miles downrange. The complete flight takes 16 minutes and provides a little over five minutes of weightlessness or zero G. At booster burnout, the cone-shaped spacecraft is traveling a little over 4,000 miles an hour. Panel indicators in the Mercury Control Center record each major phase of the flight as it happens. As the accelerating vehicle passes through the contrail level of the upper atmosphere, it etches a bright white trail to mark its progress. At about 140 seconds after liftoff, and at an altitude of about 35 miles, the booster engine is shut down and the escape tower is jettisoned. Here, on a condensed time scale, are the events which occur in flight in space. Fire the posigrade rockets to separate the capsule from the booster. Set up the retro firing attitude. Fire the three retro rockets. Then jettison the retro rocket packet and retract the periscope. As the spacecraft encounters more dense atmosphere, landing and recovery sequence begins. Deploy the drogue parachute. Then jettison the antenna fairing to automatically deploy the main parachute. Until landing, then get rid of it to avoid dragging in the wind, and all on an automatic basis. Within minutes after landing, the spacecraft was picked up by helicopter and was on its way back to the primary recovery vessel just a few miles away. Radar chaff, dispersed at 10,000 feet as the main chute was deployed, provided a radar target. The underwater SOFAR bomb gave an audible landing point indication. The radio beacon was received loud and clear in the search aircraft. Sea marker die helped the helicopters sight the craft in the water. The MR-1 flight test objectives were all accomplished other increasingly complex flight tests will follow. <laughs>